Hey guys, welcome to Fundamentally Frank, and today we are designing a water bottle with my Cricut Explore Air 2. Let's go. Okay, so my sister asked me to make her water bottle for her birthday. So um, I got this water bottle for about $10 off of Walmart. Um, it is the insulated water bottle, you know, the flip top, and it was pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull up my, um, my, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Cricut design space and, um, I'm going to try to screen record what I'm doing on here. Um, so you guys can see and I'll explain as I go. So, um, but what I've, um, what she asked me to do was to do three different stickers. Um, she really likes plants, so I'm going to do a plant sticker. Um, she has a little dog named Ollie, so I'm going to kind of do a dog mom sticker. Um, and then she also um, is trying to get into the medical field, so I'm going to do a pre-med um, sticker. So um, I figured that black is going to go with this pretty well. Um, and I'm not going to do the, the white background on a sticker. I'm just going to kind of do black vinyl. Um, so it's pretty basic, but I thought it would be good to do a tutorial for it. So, so we are screen recording right now. Um, I have opened my Cricut uh, design space and this is um, just an untitled file here. I have all three of my stickers. Um, and I'm going to be looking, um, first let's do the dog mom. So it says right here when I pick it up um, that um, we want to make it a little smaller. So we're going to probably want it to be around three and a half inches wide. And then that'll be around two and a half inches tall. So I like that size. This is the other plants right here. Um, probably pretty similar to the sizing, we can kind of put it next to it. Um, and then the pre-med, um, I probably want that a little bit bigger just because it is um, a, just a larger kind of image. So let's do, let's do about three inches. So I, I'm wanting to kind of put it around this, the water bottle, um, try to evenly space it out. So I know that I like the sizing of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it with black vinyl so I don't need to worry about um, changing the coloring on it at all. Then I'm going to go ahead and click make it. Um, so go, I can already see where it's going to cut. So I'm going to get my, um, my uh, sheet, my standard grip. Okay, so I'm taking the little plastic guy off. Um, right now, I have this black permanent vinyl. Um, this is Cricut brand vinyl, but I've used other vinyls before and it's worked totally fine for me. Let's, okay. So I've stopped the screen recording um, just for now. So I know that on my screen, I have about three inches um, by 12 that I'd like to cut. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of try to, sometimes you can, eyeball it so I'm just gonna look at the line cut it right on this line here I always try to go like a little bit more than I need just because I don't want to it's like wrapping paper you don't want to like undercut because then you don't have enough and you're gonna have to waste it anyway so I've gotten this piece I'm going to lay it flat on the grip paper and try to not have lots of bubbles and creases because I want it to cut evenly. All right, perfect. So I have laid it on the sheet here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my machine on. Um, and when it's turning on, I'm gonna make sure that I have turned the setting to vinyl because I'm just using basic vinyl here. Um, I'm gonna open the machine. All right, um, like we talked about in my intro video, we feed it into here, push this arrow button, and 
it'll eat it and take it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and start the screen recording. Okay, so I've put in the um, vinyl. It is all ready to go. It's switched on to the vinyl setting here. I'm looking at my um, screen. I know that we can click snap mat, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, I'll go ahead and take this out so I can show you. You have the camera on it. You can lift it up, which is really fun. Let me stand up. So, and it's going to... Okay, so perfect. So that is taking an image of it, which is really cool. Um, so if you don't have you kind of cut in little pieces, that's totally fine too, which is a really cool feature. Um, I'm gonna click continue. It's gonna wait for a second. Perfect. Um, okay, so I see that it, we are still at the vinyl setting. Um, and everything looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and push cut. Um, while it's cutting, I'm gonna run downstairs and grab my transfer paper, um, and then I will meet up with you in a second. Go ahead, I ejected it, push that little arrow. Um, I'm gonna pull off this vinyl from my paper. So now comes the, some people love it, some people hate it. So this is going to be what's called weeding. Um, this is where I use this tool. Um, and I am going to go ahead, before I start weeding, I'm going to cut each picture individually because it's easier to work with in smaller bits. Um, so basically it is cut the image onto the vinyl and it's like a sticker so we're going to remove the rest of the vinyl we don't want to use for the image um, and it will stick onto the back of the sticker still and so basically I just kind of pick at it and pull so like I've picked at it and then I'm going to kind of pull it off um, now once you're pulling it off you want to make sure that the image that you um, that you cut is gonna stay on there. Okay, so I know I have an outfit and hair change, but that is because when I tried cutting my vinyl, I realized I needed a new Cricut blade. So it is like two days after I recorded the first part of this video. So I have cut all three of my stickers that I'm gonna wanna put on my water bottle. Um, I have transferred them over to this transfer paper put the backing on um, here so then they're ready to go. I have my water bottle here. I'm gonna try to make sure I plan out where I want it to go before I stick it on. Um, I've had issues at points with an angle of the water bottle like this. Um, so when you're putting the sticker on, you're gonna have to be really careful what angle of, water bottle, of the water bottle you put it on. And then also after, um, if you really want these stickers to stay Mod Podge spray or Mod Podge just like normal paint on, it's really helpful. Um, sometimes if you don't do that, it can come off really quick, especially if it's thin uh, vinyl. So um, I'm going to go ahead and choose where I want. So I'm going to peel off the backing. So here's my pre-med sticker and I want to put it at the bottom here and so basically you stick it on like this and uh, make sure it's smoothed out and this is where if you need this guy to kind of push it on you can use that I usually just use my fingers and then slowly pull off piece of the transfer paper. Um, just make sure that it, because it did have an angle, you just want to make sure that it didn't crease or fold in any weird way. So now we've got our pre-med sticker on there. Now we're going to use our cute cactuses in a different spot. So I have my little cactuses. 
Um, another thing about transfer paper is this can be reusable. Um, you can use it for another project. Um, I bought a massive roll, so I don't really care too much about um, reusing it because it does get less sticky, and sometimes that is more helpful um, on different projects. And then I have my dog mom. So now if you do have a moment where it's kind of pulling weird like I do right now from like the angle, just don't keep pulling, push it down and pull it back. So like don't think that pulling it farther is gonna help it, it won't. So now I have our dog mom sticker here. So this is the finished water bottle. Obviously you can do more, you can do different colors. This is just a pretty basic water bottle here. So um, this Mod Podge is spray. Um, I'm going to go outside and spray it and then um, we're going to let it dry and we will be ready. Righty guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to put vinyl on a water bottle using my Cricut Explore Air 2. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, if you would want to see more from me, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, and let me know what else you want to see um, from me tutorial wise, vlog wise, um, or just all around video wise. So <laughs> um, I hope that you guys have a great day and we will catch